There's all the signs for a white city. I love the signs. And we are on our way to Carlsbad Caverns National Park. Yay, Carlsbad! Abby has been anticipating this spot for so long. Yeah. And we're finally here to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. We have, um, so a little heads up, for to do the tours in the caverns, you have to reserve a time. You go on the website and you just select the time that you want to. It's um, one dollar. It's to one dollar to reserve. To reserve it. it. That just gives you a time to enter, and yeah. then you buy your tickets. They're fifteen dollars a piece. Okay. Or park pass. Keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, just keep okay. going straight. That I was goes, going to Sitting Bull Falls. I that's, guess. That's uh, yeah. I, I didn't see the sign. I think that was Lincoln National Forest. Is that way? Out, out that way there. It's pretty today. Really pretty out here. Yeah, the lighting. It's 53. Lighting looks nice. Weather's going to be good. It's going to be a little warmer here today. It's supposed to get up into the 80s. But it doesn't here. matter because it's 54 degrees all the time it's in the feel cave. Good. Oh, yeah, the cave, the, the caverns are going to 54 feel. or 56. I, it's one of those. So we'll be there shortly. I'm going to... We're gonna stop off here in White City so I can get the, um, I'm gonna get a camera mounted up on the windshield. I'd like to get a little, uh, you know, time lapse going into the park because it looks like it's gonna be a really pretty drive into the park there. And uh, we'll show you what it looks like once we get there. Really excited to get this day going. I cannot wait to get in there. The big room. Oh. We can just see in the distance there, that's gonna be the Guadalupe Mountains and uh, Guadalupe Peak. So that's going to be another adventure that we're going to do. But we may save that for tomorrow because we have two days here. We haven't decided. We're just going to see how we feel uh, after doing the caverns today. We may go ahead and take the drive down Guadalupe we as well. Right. I'm excited to see that. I don't, it's another one of those parks that I don't really know a lot about. And those usually end up being some of my favorite ones. Yep, definitely. It's going to be a really beautiful drive. We saw some people... Uh, camping up there so i'm not sure this this property here this could be blm land but i don't know i'm just assuming So since it's not crowded, I was just gonna point out, this is one of the things that we always enjoy doing at any national park is stopping at the park sign and getting a photograph for our memories. This is a beautiful sign. They did a good job building this one. Yeah, they did. Really pretty here. Beautiful up in here. You ready to get in there and see the caverns? Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> You ready? ready? This is a beautiful area up here. Look at the, I mean, just look at the view at the valley there. All right, so we're, we have made it to the uh, visitor center there. And this is where I'm gonna put the GoPro back in the truck. We're gonna yeah. leave it there. We're gonna hopefully get something fun with our iPhone to share a little bit of the, uh, the tour. Yeah, and we're hoping to take the natural entrance in. So it's um, 750 feet down. 
um, we're going to take the elevator up. Don't you judge me. I'm taking the elevator up. Most people up. probably take the <laughs> elevator back up. <laughs> so we're really excited about this yeah. and we'll give you some highlights of the tour and uh, we'll see you again real soon here. All right, well, we've got our annual pass, which paid for the entrance fee in yes, here. Yes, it did. 80 bucks worth it. Yeah, we're gonna be using that quite a bit over the next couple of months. Yeah. So this is the way to the natural entrance? Correct. Very cool. I like the, uh, the structures over there look oh, pretty, huh? Yes. So this is the natural entrance trail, and then this right here is the bat amphitheater. It's too early. They uh, migrate, so they'll be here in May, and then you can sit here and watch the bats fly out for like an hour. I wish we could do it. That would be really cool to see. There's the entrance where we're headed there, the natural entrance. It is really pretty here. It is gorgeous. Let's go do this. Yeah, we were, uh, we were letting some of the people get by the, the initial rush because they just opened it. Do you notice all the cactus everywhere? Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's birds, okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of birds down here. It sounds very pretty with their uh, chirping.
All right, we are making our way further down into the cavern. It's getting darker. This is pretty. This is beautiful so far. You know, one of the things I appreciated that the park ranger tells everybody. Whisper voice. Whisper voice. Yeah. Whisper voice. Isn't that something that we've tried to promote? We try. Ourselves. And don't throw your trash in the national park. Nope. So we're finally kind of getting down further into the uh, cavern here, yeah. away from the natural entrance. It is nice and cool, it feels good. Yep, and there is uh, moisture down here. You can see we got a little water here. You can hear the water, you can hear the water dripping up off the ceiling there. Crystal clear water, yep. And it just continues to descent. See that big rock right there? That is massive. Yep. Getting further down in here, and then there's a lot of really pretty formations. A lot of stalactites. And a couple right here in front of us that are, look how tall those are. That's got to be one of the tallest ones I've ever seen. Another one right here. And then this guy. That is so cool. Green Lake Room? Yeah. Okay. See the uh, stairs. Do you hear that? It's completely quiet. It's awesome. 
it is pretty quiet. When no one's talking, it's like seriously dead quiet. Oh, it opens up down here, huh? Yes. This is a, okay. Oh, this is the four-way that, that she was. Yep. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the uh, tour of the big room, which is that way. All right, so we're just taking the, uh, the tour through the big room. Certainly is wonderful and pretty down here. It's just every time we turn, there's like another incredible, thing to yeah. into the big room, huh? See that rope still there? Yep, I see it. This area right up in here is towards the end of the, uh, the the hike down to the big room. It drops off very deep there. So we'll loop back around and head back towards the, uh, the end of the tour here.
see. Nothing in there, it's just interesting. Another deep pit. Yeah. I think we've come up to what they call the bottomless pit. I had to get a little bit of this stalagmite here. This thing is massive, massive. Just gotta stick my hand out so you can kind of see. This is a silent bell. See the bottom of it is bell shaped. Very cool. That is so cool. So we're kind of at the end. We're getting ready to go to the rest area because I want to go to the snack bar. I don't know why, I just need some water and I need to go to the store, so. Ooh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna hit up the store. This has been unbelievable. And I like that you get to just do it at your own pace. Yep. There's, um, it is handicap accessible. Some of the areas are not, but man, this is incredible. Yep. So we've worked our way all the way back all the way back into the big room and then back out to the middle here. Yep. This is just. Hopefully, you guys have uh, got to see a little bit of. It's so hard to show. I mean, this room is enormous and I mean, we cannot, it just doesn't capture it. So you have to come here. Come here. It's Definitely. Amazing. We're going to take the elevator up. I don't want to we walk would recommend up 750. it. 750. Unless you're up for the challenge, because the walk down, it, was it wasn't hard, but it's strenuous. It was. Yep. I would recommend hiking boots. Yeah, definitely. Look at this, another pretty section of the room here. Yeah, it just keeps going and going. It's incredible. So, this is the snack bar and the restrooms and the elevators to go up and down. This is Restrooms there. Yeah, this is pretty cool how they picked this spot here to uh, build this. Elevators are right in there to go back up. Okay, this is cool. You can get a postcard. This is a mailbox, obviously. I don't know how a postcard. How cute is that? That is very cool. <laughs> From 70, 750 foot below the surface. <laughs> Pretty cool. Very cool. Okay, we're doing the Carlsbad stamps for our pack. Thank you. That is adorable. Carlsbad Cavern. So you got two more? Looks like you got a Junior Ranger. Junior Ranger, I gotta do it. Okay. Perfect. Nailed it. Yep. And that should be the date. Today. Bam. Yeah. Look at that. All right. Well, hold it up for me. Perfect. There's five in the bucket. I don't have to walk in. <laughs> awesome. Three more stamps for the book. Yeah. Well, that was wonderful. It was. It was awesome. It was. We love all of the uh, caverns we and do. cave tours like that that we get to experience. Each one is very unique in its own way. None of them uh, look the same at all. No. But uh, that one is certainly uh, massive. It's yes. a it's a pretty good pretty good hike through there. It is. A couple of miles, but absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. So I will say that the uh, we did the natural entrance, and it was awesome. It yep. is 750 feet down. There are some up parts, but not too many. But it is um, difficult. It's not difficult. It's, uh, it's I just, would I would call it strenuous. Yes. Kind of strenuous going down. So it is a paved path all the way down, yep. with handrails. Uh, I would recommend good hiking hiking boots or with shoes to go doubt. down. Yes. Uh, the other thing that I kind of took notice is it is accessible, but I personally wouldn't recommend a manual pushed wheelchair because it's downhill and there's a lot of steep grades going down. I don't know if they let you do it. I think you have to take the elevator. 
but I, I'm not sure. Yeah, because you can take the elevator all the way down and then you can just do a loop through yep. the uh, the big room to see yeah. that without having to go all the way down. But uh, definitely recommend doing the uh, walk down. Yes. Because that is really fun. It's a lot, of, a lot of great stuff to see. Seeing the birds at the beginning was very cool. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm really sad that we're not here for the bats. I am a personal fan of bats, so I... I will have to be, I will have to come back. So I think it's May, like May through October, something like that, yep. that they come back and, but we can't video it anyway. So we- Yeah, they like, don't let, they don't they allow don't cameras yeah. uh, for the, uh, for the bats. Yeah. But um, I had a great time and uh, fortunately, uh, it really worked out well as far as getting here early. We were the part of the very first group yep. uh, to go in. And uh, when we came out, place is packed there's a Completely lot of people packed. coming in yes. constantly people coming in um, he but, said that the ranger this morning said that it today was not sold out um, you do have to get your tickets ahead of time I'm sorry you have to reserve, reserve. your time ahead of time yep. um, on their website and then you have to buy your tickets there but uh, the guy said that he thought there they would have about 1,800 people today yeah so. which is quite a few going through there yeah but you can see well uh, and you see the parking lot it's, it's pretty well full and then so. there's another parking lot down there it's pretty full they're doing some construction here as well that's what all this is back there one more thing i wanted to say that i, ha I i'm sure they have this at other parks but i've never noticed they have a kennel so if so you don't have to leave your pet in the car if you're traveling they also have a really good uh, rv, RV parking. parking yep so that's wonderful and nice to know ahead of time I did not even know about the kennels, but that's, that's interesting. They have a, uh, they do have a snack bar in there too. They do. A little restaurant, they called it, but yep. we're going to go down to White City yes. and try the little cactus cafe down there. I'm hungry. It's just perfect timing. <laughs> it's a good time. And so we really enjoyed it. I loved it. Really beautiful here. That's a great shot looking out there at the valley. Yeah, it is. But I think from here, we're going to go ahead and head down the road about another half hour to visit the uh, Guadalupe Mountains National Park. We want to get our stamp there as well. So we'll probably have some footage to share of that as well. Yeah, we did get. We got, oh, yeah, there's one of the stickers. We got some stickers. Of course. So we this did. one's going on the back of the Kodiak, but we got a few more there as well. Yep. Abby likes to get some for the inside, inside. of the camper. Yep. Oh, and, I'm um, excited. That that was wonderful. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, what I was what I was saying was that we were very fortunate that it wasn't too busy and loud down there no. with people talking. Everybody there was uh, where we were at. We're pretty respectful of uh, not talking too loud, not being loud and obnoxious. No. So it worked out pretty good for us this time. And uh, the natural trail, it is an hour to an hour and a half walk. Mm -hmm into the into the cavern so our tour started officially at 8 30 and it is 10 after 11. that kind of gives you how an idea how much time we've been here yes so it's a, another hour to do the full walk around inside the big room and everything so yep. it's a couple of hours here but you get to go at your own pace you don't have to be done by a certain time you can spend mm -hmm. all day there are lots of places benches and stuff to sit down and yep ah uh, i could i could stay in that cave all day Cavern. Wonderful place to come and see. You got to come and do it for yourself and yes. uh, take the tour. I, I know that you'll enjoy it. You will. So we're out of here. On to the next one. On to the next national park. See you guys later.